I'm doing a small product review of Dr. X Rust Remover. This is how the package arrived. Got it yesterday. And uh, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos on it. And uh, the videos are from the manufacturer, but there are none really from anybody else. Anybody has actually bought it. I don't see any. So I said I'll take the hit. Uh, with shipping, this cost about $53, $54 shipped. Um, I'm going to open it up and uh, I'm going to try it out on this lower grill panel for a 51 Ford shoe box and see if this stuff really works. All right. Just taking off the package here. This is how it came shipped. I'll finish opening it up and I'll be right back. Trying to get this thing out of here. Here you go. That's just the bottle. That's what it looks like. These are the directions in the back. And uh, I'm going to put it into that spray bottle. I got my electric power washer over there. And we're going to see how, uh, let's spray this on the panel and see if this stuff really works. Okay, as you can see, I filled the bottle. I filled it on top, so I spilled some on the panel. And I'm just going to spray around, as they say. And spray... And we'll see how this stuff, uh, if it actually works. I'm hoping this really works. Save me a lot of time. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a shaded area. And it's about 92 degrees, 93 degrees outside here in South Texas. So, I'm going to wait a while. And see how it goes. Uh, let's see. While this is soaking, I got some. Uh, got a little panel here that got left out. It's got some just surface rust. I'm gonna spray it. You see how it works on this also. See if it does what it says. Let's give it some time to work. Just keep it all wet. But it's it's pretty soaked. Okay, it's been about five minutes now that I've been spraying this thing. Um I'm impatient, so I grabbed an old wire brush and uh, just helped it out a little bit. I could get some of that thick stuff off. Um, these areas here look like they're lightening up. Here's that panel. doing a decent job on that this rust here is pretty thick it's not flaky but it does have some pitting to it so just to, let's wait some more time and see how it goes well here you see it's been about 10 minutes now like it's doing something I'm still uh, I filled this bottle to about 20 ounces maybe uh, 25 ounces when I filled it that's what I've used so far it's been about eh, going on 10 minutes I'm not constantly spraying it I'm just when I see uh, that it looks like it wants to dry up I respray. I haven't given any more. I haven't brushed it 
just giving time to work. There's that other piece. All right, been about ten minutes now. You can see a lot of the rust is clearing off, coming off. Look at the the floor. See rust particles down there. Um, wherever it was the surface rust, it's a really light surface rust. It's clearing up. On that about 25 ounces that I filled this bottle with, I'm down to uh, under 10. Probably gonna help it out a little bit with the wire brush. This is what it looks like. It's about been about 12 minutes after I first started. Um, in some of the videos that I've seen, the uh, power wash. I use a power washer. Uh, I think I'm gonna connect the power washer and see if. Uh, that actually works it looks like it's working look working pretty decent I did uh, use a wire brush on this area right here and I started someone over there just to, to help it out but so far I mean not too bad let me uh, connect the wire the power washer and uh, see how that goes. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Got the power washer connected. I'm gonna spray this down, see how it goes. Just got a small electric power washer, one from Lowe's. Uh, let's see what comes off. some more here and some more over here but if you look at the metal it looks pretty good very decent I mean I don't see any videos on YouTube about the Dr. X but uh there you go. I say it works. Um, 
maybe not exactly as fast as they say in the videos but it's still pretty quick about 15 minutes worth of work here uh, I did help it out with the wire brush in, in a few areas probably ended up helping it out a little bit more but I'll get back and see if I could get this pretty spotless and uh, dry it off and see take another close-up look in the Sun and see what it looks like it's been about 20 minutes now this is what it looks like I'm um, really haven't I haven't uh, brushed it anymore just now I'm waiting to see if the product actually does the rest um, filled my bottle again to 15 ounces and uh, got about five left. we're gonna have two applications power washed it twice this is the result this area right here yeah, it's getting it's pretty hard to get off it doesn't really want to come off but the rest looks really good um, haven't really spent a lot of time on it I've been spraying it now I'll go work on other stuff gone inside get some AC uh, it's about 100 degrees outside right now and about two o'clock three o'clock two o'clock I think in the afternoon um, looks really good uh, probably used about I don't know about half a gallon on this stuff so close up notice it works pretty good wherever it puddles up probably if probably work best if if you get a tub and enough of the product where you could submerge it and leave it, it should work really good. It's uh even the steel down here where some of the overspray it cleaned up pretty much. <laughs> 